L-O-V-E. It's all about the love, man. Love is the message. So, people, welcome back to the channel once again. Touching down from Chiang Mai, Thailand. Nice overcast day today, not so hot today. Nice and cool. Every day seems to be different. One day it's blazing hot, then the next day it's overcast like this. But yeah, I like it like that, man. I like it because you get you get the cooler weather and you get you get a hot day as well here and there. It's all good, man. It's all good. Just been to eat at my one of my little local vegetarian places over there, lit on the corner. Not too far from where I live, this area. This is near my neck of the woods, really, down the south south district of the moat of the city and today we're going to go to somewhere pretty cool really cool i'm looking forward to doing some filming here actually just going to cross the road remember when we went to the art center in niman road the art center that i didn't think was too good really i mean i mean good for some people you know but it wasn't wasn't to my taste really it wasn't my sort of thing and today we're going to go to somewhere that's more more my my background really we're going to go to dream space gallery it's a graffiti and street art um, art gallery um, not far from where i just eat my dinner it's, this is it we're here now so it's basically it's basically five or ten steps along from where i eat and i never really knew about it until a week ago i've been down here on my bike and had a quick little look and it's yeah, it's an amazing place. Like I said, it's more my background being graffiti and street art um, from my raving days and like being a DJ and things like that. This is it, Dream Space Gallery. I will leave the link as always. There's a cool little coffee shop here as well. Got all street art and spray paint. I mean, it, it looked really good when I come in here before. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it, man. Looking forward to having a proper, proper look around. And we'll have a little check in here first. Yeah, I've not, I've not been here before. Well, I've been here, but I've only just come around the outside on my bike. I've not actually been in here. This is more my sort of thing. All this cool street art. I mean, look, man, amazing, right? Amazing. The street graffiti. I mean, look at that for a doorway. That's amazing. Yes, gonna have a little look in this part here. This is definitely more up my street. I mean, look at that. That's that's crazy, isn't it? How does anyone? start with a project like that got the angels the artist is Jex if anyone's heard of Jex 2018 See, I much prefer this, much prefer looking at street art than traditional art. I mean, you have a place in Niman, that, that was nothing to me. That was, I didn't really get it, but I know people do. That's not my thing, so this is more my thing. But I'm from the southwest of England, where the famous Banksy, famous Banksy graffiti spray artist is from, uh, Bristol City. I'm just, I just live down the road from Bristol City. I'm sure all of you have heard of Banksy, the famous graffiti artist, the famous anonymous <laughs> graffiti artist. Many people have had ideas who it is and but no one has really put a name to uh, Banksy. Uh, people say he's a young scruffy kid. <laughs> that's what it, that's what some of the theories are online. Where I'm from near Bristol, there's lots of Banksy arts, you know, weather well, is all over the world now. Even here I've seen, I've seen Banksy Banksy's work here, printed on stuff and things. Um, yeah, so I'm, it's, I come from a really famous area for street art, really. 
and a street artist. And we're gonna walk up, gonna walk up the stairs. You never know, we might see a Banksy piece here, but I doubt it. Man, it just gets better and better. It's amazing. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Got a peace sign there, the flying peace sign. Make love, not war. Peace. It's all about love, not fighting. I'm liking this one. Yeah, I'm liking this one. Look at the mixture of things they, they've used in that. I like that where, just off the cuff, off the cuff, just putting things that don't, don't sort of belong together and putting them together. I mean, that's what street art's all about, I think, isn't it? Just free hand and letting your imagination go wild. I think that's uh, it's from the game, isn't it? Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter or something. Got the ego. There's the dirty vermin pigeon, look. Pigeon had to get in there, didn't he? <laughs> pigeon had to get in there. Had to be one of the biggest, biggest ones as well, didn't it? I can't stand pigeons. <laughs> yeah, this reminds me of like breaking hip hop, break dance, the movie. I really like this, yeah. If anyone's seen break dance, the movie, Ozone, Turbo, uh, Ice T in the club. When they're battling it out, when they're doing uh, doing the hip hop battling, the breaking. This is what the clubs are like in the '80s film Breakdance. There should be a lot more, really. So let's check it out. Look at that! Look at the realism in that. I mean, like I said, where I'm from, we got we got some real talented people. I mean, Bristol in the UK is known for one of one of the main graffiti, street graffiti cities in the UK. It's famous for, it's famous for street graffiti. Not just because of Banksy either. It's got, it's got history, Bristol City. Look at this, this kills well, isn't it? Amazing. Peace sign, donut. <laughs> like it. Looks like they got loads, loads of room where they're going to be adding more and more. <laughs> Look at that. That's cool, man. That barbed wire looks real as well. It looks real. That's a cool one. Liking it. Democracy. It's like Huey, Huey, Dewey and Louie <laughs> from the cartoon. Huey, Dewey and Louie. Yeah, so it looks like they got loads more, loads more spaces. I'm gonna come down here when, when, when someone's doing one, that'd be cool. Watch a bit of it. I'm liking this one. This one's for the world right now, look. Peace, freedom. Peace, freedom, unite, equal. Let's live as one, let's live as one. No, 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 look at that as well. Where'd you even start something like that? It's, it's a cool day to come here today. It's, it's nice and cool and, you know, rainy day. Something like this is great for a rainy day. Got a bit of sculpture going on there, look. 
bit of sculpture art. Now this looks like disused, disused restaurant or something. Yeah, it's like a mini bar. Hope you liked, enjoyed the last vlog I did. Tried to cheer you all up a little bit. I know it's all doom and gloom back in Europe and America and things. And yeah, if my vlogs can just keep you, give you that few minutes of joy every day, that's that's cool. I mean, show you a bit of Chiang Mai, why, why you're back home and you can't travel. I mean, that's I'd be doing the same. I'd be like watching loads of loads of things on Chiang Mai or Thailand if, if I was stuck back home and I couldn't travel. I'm just glad it can bring a smile to your day some days or when you're sitting down in the evening, watch a vlog and remember somewhere that you've been or remember the streets of Chiang Mai. Keep that, keep that vibe alive of coming back. Got a little coffee shop there. And there's one there as well. I did read online that um, when you come here, it's best to go and see the guy in the coffee shop. L-O-V-E. It's all about the love, man. Love is the message. So I'm not sure what else there is. I think there's more. We'll have a little walk down. Got skateboarding ramps here. Anyone's into skating. It looks a cool place that they've actually done for like the youth and the street arts and people that like BMXing and skateboarding. It's cool, isn't it? I mean, back in England, we used to have places like this. Then when I was growing up, and then they took it all away then more trouble started the youth didn't have nothing to do and then they sort of brought back skate parks and that again I mean if you give young people things to do they will stay out of trouble especially in England look at this Swati Cup how are you <laughs> yeah amazing amazing place yeah first time yeah I live just not far and I never see before. Oh. Yeah. This one, uh, the old one, is a factory. Factory. Chained to the museum. It's right. Like a museum. So this is for graffiti artists to. Art? Everything art. Right. Yeah. And, and graffiti too. Right. Yeah. And it, it's yeah. you, you're the manager or you're the artist? Yeah. I, I'm artist. I do graffiti right. too. And I open the space shop. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. And gallery. Next cool. month. Next I month? Ex exhibition with my friend. Oh, cool. 20. Oh, I will come. 20 yeah. next month. Yeah, next okay, month. cool. I will come. Party. And it's in here? Yeah. Okay. Mini ram skateboard. Right, yeah. Cool. So is there, can, this is, this is all that and this, this, yeah. right. And this one, the, the story of, of factory. Right, story yeah. of factory. Yeah. Cool. I will have a look. Thank and you. After I go already. Yeah, had yeah. a look. Yeah, yeah. These are the, the owner, he collect the. Coffee yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's close to me because I'm from Bristol, England. You know Banksy, ah, yeah, Banksy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, many friends me from London. Yeah, yeah. From uh, Liverpool, London. Yeah, Bristol, famous for yeah. graffiti and yeah, street yeah. art. You know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Brisbane. Bristol, oh, yes. Born of a uh, Banksy. Yeah, Banksy. Okay, <laughs> thank yeah. you, thank you. So I know any graffiti artist would know Banksy in Bristol. Um, when I first told him, I don't, I don't, he didn't seem to know it, and I, f I was shocked. But he didn't understand what I said. Then after a while, he was like, "Bristol, Banksy." So yeah, I knew. Any anyone knows Banksy, you know. Anyone into graffiti and street art, I know they would know Banksy. <laughs> he said, "This is the history of of the building." 
Oh, I see. Yeah, history of the building. It used to be a working factory. The audio old Sigma, Sigma sewing machine. I remember these, my mum had one. Old school sewing machine, built like a tank. I do know Sigma is a good, good sewing machine. Pro probably worth a bit of bunts as well, that. Probably worth a bit of dollar. Look at that, old bit of, old bit of kit. See this here, I like this. I'd have this in me house. I'd have this, that's a bit of me. Got the peace and love jeans. Bit of fashion. Another old school sewing machine there, look. Yeah, it's a cool place, it's definitely worth checking out. Um, that goes up to that little place I was at, I think, the little bar area. It looks like the same stairs. So we'll walk back out now and hopefully the rain stopped. I will leave, leave the location down in the description as always, guys. It's definitely worth checking out. It's free and it's, it's in a quiet location of town. It's just, it's just down near my end of the woods. I don't think many people come here or know where it is. I mean, I only live two minutes over the road here and I've never really, <coughs> never really knew it was here. And he said he's got a, he's got a, he's got an exhibition on the 20th. So that's the 20th of November. 2020 I'm gonna be here for sure said he's gonna be opening up a new gallery or something yeah and he's got his shop there look graffiti shop this is where you can get all your graffiti sweaty cab you can get all your paints look skateboards skateboard decks Proper spray paint. Yeah, old school. Back to basics. Quite like this here. It's cool. Cool ornament. Spray cans. Vintage. So I'll just show you the street we're on. See, we're only on like, it's a little quiet, quiet street really. I mean, that's where I eat, just on the corner there. And the little market that I normally go to is just behind here. It's, I mean, um, Night Bazaar is just down here, just a few minutes. So it's in a nice little quiet area, just out of downtown. If you're into hip hop and graffiti and street art, this is a cool place to come and check out for sure. I'm gonna head back now. Gonna head back and chill out for a bit. Yeah, lovely, lovely cool temperatures still. Stop raining. I've, I've locked Black Beauty up over near the restaurant. So I'm gonna go and get the bike now and head back to the room and chill out. That was just a little, another little place to show you people. Another little place that you can check out once you're here. I mean, nothing, nothing has to cost money. Nothing, nothing has to cost a lot of money in Chiang Mai just to go out and about and check things out. This is Dream Space Art Gallery, Chiang Mai. Next to the BEB Hotel. Got some cool little hotels, look. Even the hotels match the sort of street, street vibe, you know, street. It's a cool little trendy area, this. It's cool little trendy buildings and little art galleries. Perfect, check it out, guys, check it out. Hope you're all safe and well, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy, man. Take it easy.